We find that the schooling which you enrolled at age uh, 14 has a direct impact on your labor market outcomes, even after controlling for free labor market conditions, family background characteristics, uh, other school characteristics, region, and so on. Which is interesting because, again, when it comes to understanding disparities in the labor market, inequality in the labor market, uh, this channel coming through uh, the schooling system is something we, we didn't know about. And now with this new evidence, we show that, in fact, uh, if you attend a private school versus uh, 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 an individual with the same characteristics, but in a, now enrolling in a public school, the return uh, is approximately 15%. Uh, which is large, significant, and it's something we didn't have before. Uh, and the other dimension, which is something we, we are trying to explore also in this paper, is uh, the direct effect on, on inequality. Because if you think uh, of the Chinan schooling system, in which, for example, competition has been, you know, it's one of the uh, um, you know, most important components of the system, right? So we have this voucher school competing with public schools, and they have also the private uh, institutions uh, participating in this market. Well, what is the impact of that, uh, infra uh, of that particular re regime on inequality, on labor market disparities? And uh, that's something, in principle, we didn't, we, we didn't anticipate uh, these large uh, effects. Uh, and now the issue is whether, whether, as a society, you will be okay with, with something like that. So even after controlling for this background characteristics, the school characteristics, where you live, your mother's education, father's education, we still find these large effects. Well, the question is, are we okay as a society with a particular phenomenon? Uh, and the answer is not clear. Uh, it, it's, it's, it, this is going beyond the, the actual, uh, you know, the scope of this paper, but uh, it's an important question when it comes to public policies. Uh, and, and so we, we can live with a system in which we have competition, we are promoting schools to do better, right? And that will impact labor market outcomes, as we show. Well, the direct consequence of that, you might generate more disparities. How do we deal with that as a society? Are, you, are we willing to, to accept that trade-off uh, or not? And, and if you see, for example, the political discussion in the country right now, it's sort of based on that uh, on, 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 on that ground. So we're trying to, the, the country's, uh, uh, the discussion on how the schooling system is going to be uh, modified, these reforms that all the, all the uh, uh, policymakers are, are uh, discussing, promoting, uh, designing, uh, how, does, how do they fit in the context of this particular result, we find this very important.